Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know that can either bring you success or happiness Unless you're the NCAA, then it's just what you know. Thanks for checking in with the Fumble Guys. I'm Jackie Ray or Jared Fanatic on all things social media. Since you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can keep up on all the latest in sports news. If I had my way and copyright infringements weren't a thing, I would start this video off with the theme song from Golden Girls. You know the thank you for being a friend. And I would play a montage of LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony. It's a beautiful thing, right? And you all know that I am dreading the day when King James is no longer the face of the NBA. That's right, I said it, the face. But I will say my heart is warmed when I see not only the legacy, but also the friendship he has with Dwayne Wade continuing in videos like this. Zaire and Bronny just playing around, getting some dunks in and building a friendship. Personally, I don't read much into this. I'm not judging where their basketball careers will end up based on some uncontested dunks, but I love the video because it shows two kids having fun doing something they love to do and building a friendship. Sometimes friendships include gentle jabs. So to the resident Knicks fan here at the Fumble, Chris Clark, this tweet, is for you. At we Matt said, Nick's figuring out how they can tank to draft both of them in a few years. That is actually not a bad plan and once again gives Knicks fans something to look forward to. But while Zaire and Bronny have plenty of time to get their game up, King James and his day one Chris Paul are putting in work for the upcoming season. And here's one thing about having friends like LeBron James. When an organization like the NCAA comes after you, you know he's got your back. If the NCAA thought this Rich Paul rule was going to go over well, they were probably getting some really bad advice from someone with a bachelor's in marketing but no real life experience. Yesterday we told you about the NCAA implementing a rule that requires agents looking to represent student athletes to have at least a bachelor's degree. LeBron and other athletes chimed in via Twitter yesterday and are still talking about it today. This morning King James posted this to his IG, a picture of he and Rich Paul with the hashtag we got it now and we got it next too. In the video it seems King James and Rich Paul knew the storm was coming. We do shit that's never been done before. They're like, no, you're supposed to do it exactly how the last 50 years has been done. Exactly. And you don't. And you they don't. always and that's why they don't like and that's why you get those immediate reactions and people like because they so like inside the box. And if we didn't know how LeBron felt during that video, we certainly know it based on the article he posted to his Twitter page with the hashtag stay woke. In it, he highlights an article where Chris Chris Lucci, who represents four players in the NBA, including Nuggets forward Wilson Chandler, says, quote, Rich is now a major threat to every large corporate agency that exists. There's a trembling throughout the industry, and that's why some people take shots at Rich. LeBron also retweeted Chris Paul, who said, I completely disagree with the NCAA's decision. Some life experiences are as valuable, if not more, than diplomas. Y'all need to rethink this process, this is crazy. There is no real reason for the rule outside of trying to ban Rich Paul, so to me, it makes this response from the NCAA seem a little hollow. Although some can and have been successful without a college degree, as a higher education organization, the NCAA values college education and continues to emphasize the importance of earning a degree. We were guided by recommendations from the Commission on College Basketball, which spoke with the agent and advisor community that the NCAA certification process should be more stringent than the current process. You can read the full statement that screams, hey, we're trying to stop Rich Paul from his continued success on Twitter at Inside the NCAA. But I can tell you now, we ain't buying it. Attorney Natasha Scruggs tweeted, this is BS. The NCAA has a lot more policies to consider. They should make policies to reverse their predatory and oppressive rules that teenagers unknowingly agree to. Another user said, NCAA wants to prevent the next Rich Paul. This is about stopping the next LeBron from doing this. And another user questioned the legality of the move saying, per the NLRA, unions regulate agents. The NCAA is not a union. It does not represent players whom it denies membership. NCAA has no legal authority to regulate players. Oliver versus NCAA 2009. And Andrew Hawkins responded to the tweet saying, stop being racist. I 
think the NCAA needs to admit they were really wrong on this one. They need to go one step further and specifically say they were targeting Rich Paul and go even further and say why they were targeting him. I don't think that will happen, but NCAA, we know. Trust me, we know. Fumble fam, let me know what you think about the rule in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.